Good day, this is David Gamut from Dakota Angler and Outfitter, and today we're tying a flying wing beetle. Um, use this beetle out when I'm guiding a lot of times. Um, it's nice to have something you can see, a big post out there. A lot of times that black beetle rides so darn low that it's very hard to see. And this kind of a dun wing up on the top kind of gives the illusion that maybe this beetle's trying to get off that water. Uh, it, uh, helps a lot from a distance being able to see that. A lot of times we were getting takes and uh, some of the clients had a tough time seeing that so I had to add a little bit of length to the uh, Z-Lon up here on the top to help that uh, to be seen and it's a great pattern. It's very similar to the regular beetle with the orange dot uh, just pretty much we're adding uh, this kind of the flying wing up on the top. Okay, first thing to get started, take this guy out and we're going to use uh, 1110 size 14 here. Put the hook in the vise. And we'll tie off with uh, some black 70 denner ultra thread. Start that behind the eye here. Work the thread forward. Coat the hole. Hook shank. Let's top that just in line with the barb. And I'm just going to touch this with a little zap right on top. You don't necessarily have to do this, but this allows that foam to kind of lock in place. See, we got a piece of black foam with a little kind of a slight notch on it that at the back, compress that down, kind of some wide wraps here, compress that down, then we're going to tie in some midge cactus and ill peacock, kind of make this simple, it's a pretty quick tie, don't have to do any dubbing. I'll just kind of wind the peacock chenille in, take your thread forward, and just pass this over one hand to the other, winding it forward, and bring it up to the thread, which is about one I got back. We're going to kind of build up a little bit of a shape of a football here. Taper there, tie that off. Makes a quick tie with that. Cactus chenille. Cut that off. And then we're going to pull this over the top. Just kind of grab a hold of that and pinch it down. A nice big round back there. Okay. Not necessarily, but we're going to cut this off. Just butt the scissors right up against the eye. Cut. <clears throat> then we're going to put in some crystal flash black for the legs. <coughs> okay, we're going to tie in um, three strands of crystal flash. Don't, you could have four or five. I don't think fish can count, so it doesn't really matter, but we'll put about three here. I'm just going to straddle that across and we're going to do some figure eight wraps here. So we got three on each side. Like that. Cut that to length. I actually like these legs a little long. Um, I kind of want to draw attention to it. It also helps it support itself on the surface of the water. Okay, for the wing, I'm going to use uh, Betts Zilon. This is a light dun, type from Metz. So we got a piece right there. Simply just put that right across the top and come right over the top and bind that in. 
pull this back and make it quite a few wraps in front to kind of push that back just a little bit. Then I take the whip finish and I just kind of bring the whip finish the thread back, bobbin back, make a little triangle. I pull everything back and just catch the eye like, like that. One, two, three, four, and five. And five. Actually, there we go. We'll do that again. Just make sure that we see that on the camera. that in. Okay, cut that off, gather this up, and you want it fairly high, so this is something you can see on the water. Hold it up, cut that off. It's okay to have that split there. This is just something more or less which we want to see, and it works real well. I'm going to pull this back and we're going to make it look like a little glossy beetle back. We're going to use some hard head clear. Kind of hold that out of the way. Just touch the surface there. Paint up a little glossy beetle there. That also kind of gives a little bit of durability from getting beat up from those big brown trout teeth in them. And you can play with the legs as much as you want. There we have our beetle. Thanks again. This is Dave Gambert from Dakota Angler and Outfitter.